And what we're seeing is that, Ima again, images are colors in a slice of time. They're not eternal beauty. Here is a Surat painting, um, redigitized. Um, I think that's going to be a new form. People are going to have very thin screens on their walls. Say, well, I'd like to see what the painting looked originally. Then they'll press a button and say, oh, this is, you know, 20 years later. What happened to... Um, the painting after bacterial and dust got it. And this is what it looks like now. And which is the painting that is most beautiful? Become, and so we see that we're already cr have having a new understanding of does restoration make it more beautiful? Or as the Japanese would say, it's called wabi-sabi, um, does time make things more beautiful? And as the bowl gets older and more shiny and a little chipped, uh, does that make it less beautiful? And this is the, the second crisis that has to do with, first has to do with changing from reflective surfaces to emitted light. And the second is trying to understand what do we mean, uh, what do we want to call beauty? Um, my mentor, a guy named Frederick Jameson, big postmodernist, um, said to me, all artwork is an installation. You just have to decide how long you want the installation to last. <laughs> um, Van, Van Gogh wrote a beautiful letter when his brother, Theo, pointed out that he was using lakes to kind of dye instead of oil paints and that they weren't going to last. And indeed, they've changed his paintings drastically. <clears throat> and he wrote book back and said, my paintings are like flowers. They can, they'll last as long as they want. They're, and when they're gone, there'll be other paintings. And so he had that same sense that uh, this tension about what is beautiful, what is deteriorating, um, is not eternal beauty. So um, I don't have time right now, but m my daughter asked me, she said, how do you get from being attractive to being beautiful? And they're actually, that's where that desire comes in. You start ask, adding uh, hope is an, is an attribute of beauty. Contingency, the freedom, the noticing of freedom, like in this poll, is, a, is part of beauty. So to go from attractive to beautiful requires certain little steps that have yet to be mapped out by biologists. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, so... What is this is doing, actually, the screens and the sense of what is beauty, is maybe making museums, and to some extent galleries, less important. Because now if you can have a thin, high definition, and it'll be very high definition soon, you could have a painting that looks as good as the Mona Lisa original hanging on your wall, and you can push a button and see that the sky was actually blue, not that foggy color. So, so what we're finding is that this is a new era, era of creativity, and creativity is really being challenged. 